Hello, my name is Barbara Cleve and I'm here with Adam Wolf in a restaurant in Zurich. Adam, what do you think about SOPs? I think a standard operating procedure is a fantasy that business have, that they can create a way of working that everybody follows. In fact, the question I would say I've been asked most by business is how do I make these people adhere to my process? And I think I've mentioned before, you don't. They do what they want. Yes. A standard operating procedure then becomes like a, a, a chain around the business's neck, that they have to manage people to adhere to the process. And many times, as, as people learn the job, they learn better ways to do it, or cheaper ways to do it, or more effective ways to do it. But standing operating procedure doesn't move, it stays there, it stays stuck in the mud, the way that people originally used to do things. Now I can see why business think that they need some quality control, and that by doing it this way, that the measures are met and the people are, uh, are predictable, and the outcome is predictable. But I think if you look at the outcomes, you'll find they're not predictable. So I find standard operating procedures are a fantasy rather than a reality. And in my view, also taking away creativity and fun in as a oh, absolutely. person working. Absolutely. In fact, one of the problems that business has is, is staff engagement. And so you take away the fun, you take away the, the, the creativity and then you get people who you kind of want to behave like a machine. And then as we've discussed previously, that's not how people behave. So management gets stressed out trying to behave, get people to behave a certain way, or what they call drive behaviours, which is the worst thing. So that was really interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you.